Okay, this presentation will show you how to import MATLAB generated 3D models into SOLIDWORKS. In this demo I'm using SOLIDWORKS 2008, MATLAB version 7 and a laptop Dell Precision M6300. This is the MATLAB command window. Help. Here we have a huge library of demos and samples and examples. Let's see. Let's take this closet knot here. Let's check the codes. F5 to run. Let's change the variable here from the grid points from 20 to 64, 6 to, let's see, 256. The radius of the tube from quarter, uh, 3 quarter to half an inch. Let's calculate the, the size of the cloud. Uh, F5, okay. This the size of the cloud will be 64 times 256 16,384 this will be the number of points in our cloud this is not a big deal for SOLIDWORKS, it can handle it very easy here we have the variables we're going to use x1, x2, x3 ok let's create a matrix with these variables x3, x2, x1 I have inverted swap the x3 by x1. Uh, let me show you why. Um, let's create a matrix here to demonstrate why we swap the numbers. This is a trick to format the, the file to be compatible with uh, SOLIDWORKS. Let's create this matrix here, a matrix uh, um, 4x3. Okay, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, this is a 4 by 3 matrix. As you can see, this is not the, the way we need. So let's rotate this thing 90 degrees. As you see, the, the numbers are XYZ is ZYX. The two the 12 is changed by the 4 so that's why you have swapped the, the x1 by x3 let's continue okay now I have to rotate the matrix okay now I have to force this matrix to be I'm going to reshape the matrix to force it to be only three rows or only three columns, I'm sorry okay, reshape it has to be any number of rows and three columns okay, done now I have to send this to a file this is the command to do that the, it's a common separated file now the name of the file which will be now let me put the location I'm gonna put in the root directory okay. the extension XYZ is accepted by SOLIDWORKS now the matrix that holds the, the clouds and ok F5 checks ok let's check the the file if it's uh, right uh, it's formatted as, as we wish XYZ ok 
Okay, the three last numbers here are, represents the coordinates for one point. The x, y, and z. One, this is one point of our cloud, comma separated with the carriage return in the end. This should be compatible with the point clouds for SolidWorks. Let's open it. Okay, point clouds. Open. Okay, there you go. Okay, here we have the points from the cloud we, we create in MATLAB. Let's be sure the, the scan to 3D is enabled. If you check this one, we have the, only this section. In this one, it loads every time you load SOLIDWORKS. Okay, it's okay. Let's now create uh, a mesh from the points. Right click over the cloud. Okay, okay, looks good. Right click, Mesh Preparation Wizard. This is a good wizard. Okay, next, the cloud is already selected. Next. Okay, you have um, many options here. Let's let's use the default one. Okay. Here we see the the size of the cloud: six thousand sixteen thousand three hundred eighty-four. Okay. Let's let's leave it original. Let's yeah. construct the the mesh. Okay, here we have it. Let's see it. Closer view. Okay, closer. Okay, it's very smooth. Next. Let's see it. Shading. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's try something different now. Three columns. Okay. F five. Okay. The file is already created. Let's go to back to SolidWorks now. Clouds and Sphere XYZ. Okay, here we have it. And it looks good. Okay, right click the wizard. This is a smaller. Okay, next. Okay. 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 Now we have a surface screen. Okay. Okay, let's now start the wizard to create surface. Next. Next. Okay, you have uh, sensitivity here. Let's take the whole sphere. Okay, no, no, no bad points, no holes. It's okay. Okay, let, now let's try the magic. Okay, see here. Look, the sketch is created based on the. Great, huh?